Dogs and citizens of the internet, this is Rent Dog coming at you from on top of a tree on Silkworm Gang Island in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we almost got molested by a freaking zombie leprechaun, and I managed to get up this tree just in time. Um, <laughs> but damn, that was some terrifying freaking jazz. But in this episode, guys, we're going to try and get back to our freaking mountain cave, make some bread, and get back down into the cave below us so that we can find a little bit more iron. And hopefully, at the end of this episode, we'll be able to return to the top of the mountain behind me so that we can start working on the treetop fort that is going to be built on Silkworm Gang Island. So sit back, relax, my sabi diggity dogs, and let's get it out. Now, that freaking leprechaun, I don't know where he's gone, but he is around here somewhere and he makes an absolutely terrifying noise. Is that him over there? Hiding behind the freaking tree? Oh my goodness. And the sun is down, so... Oh my... Okay, let's do this. I'm going to go down really slowly. I'm sure I could take him out. Hey! Hello? Leprechaun! We need me some tasty back. Oh god, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come at me, little bro. Bam! Come at me, dude. Take it. Bam! <laughs> My goodness, man. He took four hits from a freaking iron sword to die. That is pretty damn scary, man. Uh, well, hello, new mob from Minecraft 1.6. I, I am not pleased to see you, let me tell you. You are freaking hardcore and I am terrified. Um, oh my goodness. All right, well, let's get back into our hole, guys. We can sleep the night away and that will take care of all the freaking nightmares, the leprechaun nightmares that I've been having since the, the last time we played this freaking game, man. I'm going to close this jazz up. And uh, I just want to check if I have... I, I've, got one, I've got one more seed here. All right, well, we're going to have to wait until we can harvest before we can plant some more wheat. But um, guys, I'm going to freaking take a freaking nap right now and... Uh, at the, on the other side of this kaplam, we are going to make some bread. <laughs> kaplam. All right, Cyberdogs, it is a new day. Hopefully no more freaking zombie leprechauns outside our hole. It looks like our wheat has not yet sprouted. But I do believe we have a bit of bone in the chest here. So why don't we make a little bit of bone meal? See if we can fast track this jazz. Um, I do believe it's much harder to use bone meal now. Um, we'll see now. I mean, before 1.6, one right click would, would complete it. But I think, yeah, you see now it actually takes one, two, takes two clicks to fully grow uh, a bit of wheat. I, actually, more than two clicks. That one took three. So it's between, between, and, between one and three, it looks like it. Yeah, I think it's a random, um, yeah, it's random between one and three, it looks like it. Okay, sweet. Well, that should give us quite a, quite enough wheat, I think, to make a, a few bits of bread to take us on our next adventure. Let's just hoe the soil and uh, replant. Maybe we can get all 12 of these seeds planted. Come on, baby. No, we're going to have... Oh, I mean, that is, good. that is just OCD hell right there. <laughs> um... Well, we can make a few bits of bread. Let's have a look. We can make like two bits of bread. Two bits of bread. I mean, that that ain't, that's just not going to cut the mustard, man. That is not going to cut the freaking mustard. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to sort out my inventory. And um, I think what I should probably do is head back to New Beach and do a little bit more fishing. And uh, th that'll probably get us enough bread to take us on this on this next uh, bit of adventure into the freaking caves below here. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright guys, I tell you what, I'm going to head back to New Beach. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing, kick this puppy into fast forward mode. And I will see you on the other side of this kaplooey. Kaplooey!
I've been fishing for about half the day and I've managed to pick up five tasty ass sea bass. Mm. <laughs> Let's go get these into our oven and cook them as fast as possible. Man, Ooh, there's actually a cave up there. That's pretty cool. And a cat. But uh, we don't have time for dilly dallying right now, guys. We need to get these freaking fishes cooked and we need to get our buttholes down there because that is where we're going to find some more awesome ass jazz. We need to actually find um, a, a lot more coal, I think. In fact, we've only got two coal left in our furnace. Make that one coal left. And I don't think we have any coal in here. No, we don't. And we, well, we've got a full stack of torches, so that's pretty sweet. So while the fishes are cooking, I'm just going to prepare my inventory. We're going to need a bucket of water because that's always helpful on an adventure. We don't need to take our fishing rod with us. We've got two iron swords. We've got some stone picks. And I think I, I want to make, uh, I just want to make one more um, spade just in case. You never know when you might need a freaking spade. And we can, keep, we can drop off the hoe. Um, hmm, the hoe doesn't want to go. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Um, okay, awesome. So we're almost ready to go. It looks like the wheat is going to take probably two or three day cycles to grow. Man, it is much harder to get food now in 1.6 hard mode. That is for shizzle. Uh, but we do have five fishies done and dusted sweet and we are now ready to get down back into the caves guys what we are looking for is iron what we're looking for is um gold uh, sorry coal and if we find anything else of value that will just be a bonus um but we have been here before and the last time we were here it was freaking infested hey batty what's up good to see your ass there is oh here is some iron right off the bat and some coal just above our head so that's good Sweet, we'll pick up that urn. And how are we gonna get to that coal? Looks like we're gonna have to be creative. Um, I, I kinda wanna hop, ooh, there's some more coal too. Wanna hop up here, Hoi. sweet. Hop up here and make like a little stairway. And what, ooh, hello, we just dug into a giant ass cache of coal, sweet. Oh man, and the sun is still up, right? So I think the spawn rates are, are fairly down. This this cavern over here is well lit up by my torches and there's there's holes uh, from the surface. Uh, for those of you guys who watched the previous episode, I actually fell through those holes quite a few times. Some sort of a miracle that I didn't actually die, but um, I think the Minecraft gods are with us at the moment. Although we have died once already in the season. Um, I think that's a record, right? Right guys? To, uh, quickest death in um this minecraft series in a season i don't think i died in i think in season one i only died in like episode eight <laughs> and in season two i don't think i died for quite a while so <laughs> what well, let's look at the positive at least i broke a record <laughs> quickest death in this let's play minecraft season uh, series is in season three so far um that's that, that that's going to be a record that is going to stay for quite a long time. I think it's going to be kind of difficult to break that record. We could call it the noob record. And I am the proud holder of the noob cup. And I ain't ashamed to say it. Bye. Okay, sweet. So we, we got... Ooh, Batty has been busy getting busy. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Batty. Oh, God. Oh, you butthole. Right, let's just uh, rearrange. Let's let's get our torches closer to us, man. You need to make sure that all darkness is eradicated in this new freaking hard mode, man. This is absolutely insane. Oh God, a dungeon, a dungeon. There's a freaking dungeon in there, man. Look, there's a dungeon in there. Oh my freaking goodness, that is epic. That means there's a chest in there, or numerous chests, and that means there might be some sweet loots. We first got to get through this freaking skeleton, though. Come at me, bro. Where are you? Oh. Ow. Okay. Okay. You want to? You want to get freaking testy with me, skeleton? I'm gonna take your ass down to Chinatown via a freaking ninja hole. Come at me. Say hello to my ninja hole. Oh god, there are a ridiculous amount of zombies. And they're not gonna stop spawning, are they? Need to, need to make some more freaking murder holes here. Torch! 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 Murder hole number two! Oh! What's up? <laughs> what's up, skeleton? Take it! Sweet! Okay. 
It's a zombie spawner also, and as we have learned, zombies spawn other zombies. So this is going to be freaking difficult to clear, that is for shizzle. Although with this murder hole, we should be okay. It's... Oh, and we're going to get a butt ton of experience from this too, which is epic. Let's see if we can get a torch down there. Nope, there we go. Okay, 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 there we go, there we go. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. They're impeded by the water. You, oh, what are you going to do? You're going to hit me with a torch. Come on. Come on, buttholes. Oh, look at that juicy chest. That chest got my name on it. Torch it up. Torch it up. Ooh, doggy. That was insane. Thank God it was only a zombie spawner, actually. That was probably the easiest of spawners. Oh, <laughs> check at this dude. He's like, he's trying to use my murder hole against me. You sneaky ass ninja. Man. Oh, and look at all the sweet ass mossy cobblestone up in here too. That is awesome. All right, chest. Dear Lord, first chest of season three. Please give me something freaking sweet. Kablam. Oh, well, we got a bucket. That's, that's pretty cool. Got some iron. That's good. Gunpowder. Oh, we can make some more bread. Excellent. And we, ha we got enough string. Now we have enough string to make a boat! Dude! Go away! Where did you come from? It's an infected villager! I need to eat! I think I actually have to kill the spawner. It seems to be spawning zombies even though it's been torched up. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Because I, I might want to use this to make a mob spawner here on Silkwim Gang Island. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lock them in. And uh, we'll leave a, you know, a couple torches to indicate. Spawner here. The reason I don't want to break the spawner is because in season two, we actually found two spawners right on top of each other. And that, uh, and I actually broke the spawner of the first dungeon that I found. And if I hadn't, we would have been, would have been able to make a double freaking dungeon mob trap, which would have been absolutely insanely sweet. So I'm not going to break uh, this dungeon for now. I'm just going to leave it. And um, I'm not going to collect the mossy cobblestone yet either. Until we explore this area a little bit more, uh, there might be another dungeon around here, which would just be, would just be sickness. It would be the sickness. But this seems to go down, and I hear the sound of zombies, and that means there could be another. Sp oh my goodness! Shrooms! We can make mushroom soup. And we've never made mushroom soup actually, so that that is awesome. Spider, check at that dude. He's wearing like Ray Bans from the 1980s. What's up, dude? I like your glasses, man. They are freaking pimp. All right, let's let, let's have a look what's going on around here, man. We don't want to go down there just yet. Let's get some torchage up in here. Looks like another giant chavern in here, and a creeper. Dude, I can see you. You know, I know you're trying to hide from me, but I can see your ugly green ass, and I'm gonna own you. Or not. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Ow. No. 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 No, no, not good, not good. They're coming from all over. Back up. Dude, die. Eat bread, eat bread. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, now we are in the serious business end of this jazz. This is getting serious now. Serious. Caving in 1.6 is not... For the faint-hearted. How awesome is this chavern, though? I mean, it it is awesome. It is freaking awesomely infected, though. We're going to get arrows in our ass. Oh, my goodness. That shaved me. Run! Die! Ow! No! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Not good! No! <laughs> you freaking bastard skeleton. You, you bastard skeleton. Oh my goodness. What? No! What the hell? No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Well, Cyberdogs, um, things have taken an ugly turn. 
Um, we died in the dungeon and we respawned with a creeper in our house. So we now don't have a bed and we don't have a chest anymore. <laughs> and all of our jazz is is underground. So um, that sucks. <laughs> That, the, the, the worst part is that we lost the bed. I mean, that is the worst part. We didn't lose the dog -a -log, though, so that's good. But um, I'm, I'm, we're going to have to head back down there to get our armor and stuff. So what I'm going to have to do is make another couple of iron swords, I think, is the only, the only option we have. Do we even have it? Okay, we have enough cobblestone to make another furnace. I can't believe a creeper spawned in our house. I mean, that is like coming home... You know from the movies and there's like a burglar in your house you know what i'm saying i mean that is not cool um oh god what what a, i don't even know what i'm doing what am i doing <laughs> i'm gonna make a couple of swords that's what i'm doing and there's freaking zombies outside our door um okay so this is going to be a true test of our freaking ability to play this game man can we actually get back to our stuff without dying again um what i think i want to do though is make make a pickaxe oh i can't make a pickaxe okay that's fine i'll just make a spade all right there we go guys okay so we're gonna see if we can do this man this is gonna be tricky though i th there's because there's a skeleton down there right and that skeleton uh, means sarah's business and it okay run Okay, alright, so, it was this way, we have an iron sword, that is the advantage that we've got. We don't have any armor left, and there's skeletons. We have also, we also don't have any food, so um, our life regen is now in serious jeopardy. I do believe it was down here. There is all of our jazz. Okay, where is the skeleton? The zombie's over there. What I have learned um, from this experience is do not just go jumping into caves. What you actually have to do is take it really slow. And I think the sooner that we can make a bow, the better. I think I think getting a bow should be our ultimate um, our ultimate goal at the moment. A bow is going to make our life much easier, except when zombies spawn behind us. That's not good. Right, let's run out, get, uh, run and get our jazz. Torches! Let's go down here! No, back up! I'm gonna I'm gonna lock myself in here. Okay. We are safe. I I think we're safe. I mean I think we're safe. I don't feel safe, but um let's get our armor on. And oh my goodness, guys, above the zombies are just gathering above us. This is intense. We've got a whole bunch of bones though, that's good, so that we can um, make more of our crops. We have our fish and our food and our, uh, our bread back, so that's great. And all we've managed to collect is three iron. Uh, <laughs> three iron ore. Um, so that's not that great. But let's eat this last bit of bread, get our health up to full. But guys, I tell you what, I'm going to have to end the episode here because this is way too intense for me. And I cannot take it no more. But guys, in the next episode, we're going to see if we can get ourselves out of this very precarious situation. I don't know if we can, and because the number of zombies above us is exponentially increasing. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival, and I can't say I'm looking for, forward to see you in the next episode, but I am. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next episode, my friends. Goodbye.